Have you ever wanted to create your own x Lite singing face? We're going to do that in today's Bites of Pie. Let's get started. If you have a matrix in your pixel light show, you may have wanted to add a little flair to your sequences by having a few custom characters sing along with your song. x Lights does have a pretty large selection of characters to choose from, but if you have a special character in mind, you'll want to create your own to closely fit your show. Today, I'm going to show you how I created the custom singing faces in a few of my light shows using a free tool called Photopea. It has a lot of features that are similar to other editors, like Photoshop and GIMP, but it's completely browser-based and free. Let's get started. We'll first start off making sure that you've downloaded the image that you care to edit. In this case, I have a banana. And I've also downloaded a collection of phonemes. If you've ever seen animation, you know that characters make different mouth gestures when they're trying to pronounce different letters. We'll start off by going to the PhotoP website and opening up both of these images side by side. So we'll go to File, Open, find both of these images, and open them up. If I hit Control Plus, it'll zoom in a little bit. So we'll ha we have our mouth images and the same thing with our banana. The first thing we're going to want to do is to wipe out the mouth. So how do we do that? Let's zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to click over here and zoom in a little more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil image and blot out with the same color. Clicking on the pencil icon, you see this circle is pretty big. I can change the diameter of the circle. Here you can kind of see that, the diameter of the circle here by going to this little icon. I think this is a good enough, 56 should be good and I'm going to try and blot it out. Now, this is a higher res resolution image than what my matrix supports, so if I'm a little sloppy on the on the line here, it's not gonna be too bad. All right, I've got that one color. I'm gonna use the little eyedropper to get the other lighter yellow and do the same thing with the pencil on the other side. Kind of wipe out that smile there. Again, it's gonna be a little wavy, but that's okay. Now that we have our banana, this is our base image, so we'll call this banana. All right. I'll zoom out a little bit here. Okay. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take each of these mouths and create a new image layer on the banana. I'll first start off by going over to this magic wand icon and selecting the white. What I want to do is make this a transparent background so I can just only want to copy over the mouths. So if I highlight that and hit delete, you notice the white background is gone. Now I can select my mouth. I'm going to start with A over here. And it's only going to copy the mouth over to the banana. I control if you control X to cut it and then control V to paste. Now notice this is a smaller mouth than what I care to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to image and notice that uh, free transform here. Shortcut is Alt Control T. I'm going to move the mouth where I want it. And let's see what I want to do with this particular mouth. Um, I want to make it grow in size, so I will, instead of 100, let's go with 250. I think that was a good size, yeah. It's comically large, almost. Now I could do something, also, if I was getting really creative, and I did this in the earlier, I could tilt it at a specific angle, in this case maybe in negative 20. So it kind of faces the direction the banana's going, but just for this example here, I'm going to keep it straight because it makes it easier to edit. So again, I'm going to go to 250. All right, now I've got my first mouth. And notice it created a new layer over here. Um, in our mouths, we have the letter A, but in x lights it really is AI. So we're going to want uh, the different mouths in this image don't match the phonemes that we see in x lights If I was to go to x lights and to Faces, we can see different uh, letters and we're going to want to when we name our images when we, got, when we name our image layers we're going to want to keep the same uh, naming convention as X lights so that'll help fill this fill these in okay so now that we have that I'm going to name this AI instead of a I'll fast forward here and do the rest for you Okay, and that's it. Now that we have different layers, we can change the different face 
by hiding and showing the right layer. So a U, I can I can show that layer. The L, I can show that. The Etsy, I can show that, and so forth. So while we have this at the highest resolution, we're going to save this as a, a PSD. So let's go to File, Save as PSD, and save this as Banana. Most of our matrices don't have this high of a resolution, so we're going to want to knock it down a bit. Let's. You want to really focus on the face, and you see there's a lot of additional pieces here, like his arms and legs. And in my low resolution matrix, the smaller the mouth is, it's going to be harder to pick up what he's saying. So I'm going to start off by cropping it, so that I can only I can see the main part of his face. So I'm going to chop off a lot of his leg here, chop off a lot of the body here, and try and make it the same dimensions as my matrix. Again, I don't have to be dead on, but at least it makes the smile bigger, the face bigger, and it, people can tell more of the facial gestures. I'll crop it like that. Okay, and now I want to resize my image. I'm going to change my image size. I go to image, image size. The dimensions of my matrix is 26 pixels high by 34 pixels wide. So I'm going to double my the largest dimension, which is 34, I'm going to make that 68. And this will adjust the height accordingly. And then I'll hit OK. Now I'll hit Control Plus to kind of zoom in. And you notice that it's kind of pixelated here. When it resizes it, it tries to do its best approximation for the right for the same color. Since it got knocked down in resolution, I want to kind of true up these lines. So let's start off with the basic banana. Let's hide everything but the banana layer. And I'm going to deal with the outline. So one thing about black is, is that you can't see black on a matrix because it's just lights are turned off. So we're going to choose a low gray here, a really dark gray. So it'll still pop up as a light. And you can see it still see his arm. I'm going to go also go over here and select on this paint bucket tool. And you probably see if you ever deal with, dealt with paint is we want to kind of fill in this area. So it kind of trues up the outline of the banana. I also want to do something about his eyes. It'll make it a, a white eye with a, a black iris. So I'm going to use the pencil tool. Whoa, that's a big pencil and kind of knock it down a bit. I don't want it one pixel. I want it kind of like that, maybe a little bigger. Give him big eyes. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? All right. And I want to choose, let's choose straight up white so I can get over that. Big eye here, big eye here. Okay. And then a smaller blacker circle for an iris. All right. And I want to change that to black. And we'll put that here and here. Okay. So I can zoom out. All right, so that's the basic banana. Now I want to go and check out his face. Now his face um, also has kind of gotten down in resolution. So I want to go through each of these mouths and make sure the whites are white, the blacks are blacks, and that the reds are reds. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's start off with the reds. I want to take a sample of a red using this eyedropper tool. Sample this red. Okay, and I'm going to go use a pencil tool, and I want to make sure it's at the smallest one. I'm going to go with one pixel. And I want to fill in the red areas. Whoop. That's the other thing too. You also need to make sure whenever you draw and true up these edges that you have the right layer selected, otherwise it won't paint the right layer. Okay. There's no red and O, E. Okay, there's a little bit of red and E, so I'm just going to put a uh, red tongue here. Should be good. All right, WQ. I think there's a little bit of red here. We'll just put a little, we'll, we'll put a little red there. Etsy, no tongue. Oh, there's an L, L has a tongue, so we'll put red tongue right there. Okay, U, nope, MVP, nope rest and FV nope okay I'm gonna go back through this speed this up Okay, now that I've got all the colors, I'm going to try to clean up these little blurry spaces. 
with the eraser. Now, I want, when I select the eraser tool, I want to make sure that I go up here and make sure I use the pencil tool. And this is just touch up. I won't do a lot of touch up here. We can spend a lot of time touching up each letter, but I'll try and go through these quickly. Okay, now that I've touched it up, I want to save this as a, I want to rename this as a smaller, let's go banana small PSD, because once you shrink it down and you lower your resolution, you can never go back up. So you want to save the higher resolution and the lower resolution. So we'll save as PSD. We'll make it banana small PSD. Okay. Now, I want to go, now that I have my banana, I want to go through each of these layers and save it as a PNG. So I'm going to export as PNG save. Okay, and then I'll go back over to where it got saved in my downloads folder and I'll rename it to AI, and we'll have one picture for each layer. Now it's critical that you keep this, the same names as X lights, because if you name the, the file name the same, it will know where to place it. As long as the end of the file name has the same name as the phoneme, X lights will know where to place it, and I'll show you here shortly. Okay, we've now saved the image in every all the 10 phonemes that Xlight supports. Now, if I want to get really creative, I could also have this do the same thing, but with his eyes closed, and Xlights will show him blinking every so often as he sings. I don't have to worry about that right now, so I'm just going to pull them over to where their final resting place is going to be. And now I'm going to go into Xlights and see if it works. All right, I've highlighted my matrix. If I go to the faces and click on the little ellipses here, I'm going to create a new face definition. So I'm going to call him banana. All right. And it's for a matrix. Select that here. So I am now going to add the AI. I have my images. I'm going to choose AI. Note that I only selected the one image and filled in the rest. All right. I will take that. And now I will go to my sequencer. I'm going to change it to my custom banana and see what happens. Have you ever wanted to create your own x light singing face? We're going to do that in today's Bites of Pie. Let's get started. Well, for the first pass, that wasn't so bad. It looks pretty decent. There are a couple things I could tweak with it. I could probably show the arms a little more. A couple of the phonemes could be better. But other than that, this is a good first pass. I wish you good luck on yours, and thanks for watching.